So in the first video of this section, we looked at solving 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. And I mentioned that in going from exponential form to the logarithmic form, which is x is log base 2 of 5, there's this intermediate step where we are logging both sides. Now, in this case, we're logging both sides with base 2. So log base 2 of 2 to the x, so log base 2 that side, and log base 2 that side, log base 2 of 5. And so from this line of working, we get this line, because log base 2 of 2 to the x is equal to x. Now, the question is, um, did we need to take log base 2 of both sides? Could we have chosen another base to take? Can we solve 2 to the x is equal to 5 by instead taking log base 3 of both sides? So if we did that, we would have log base 3 of 2 to the x is equal to log base 3 of 5. So what we could do to solve this is we could use the power rule to bring the x down to the front. So we could write that as x log base 3 of 2 is equal to log base 3 of 5. And then to get x equals, I just need to divide both sides by the log base 3 of 2. So x is log base 3 of 5 divided by log base 3 of 2. So actually, this and this are precisely the same. Okay, they look completely different, but they have both the same answer. They are equivalent. Now here I just chose base 3. I could have chosen the natural logarithm. So I could do 2 to the x is equal to 5 and take the natural logarithm of both sides. Bring the x down to the front, as I did previously. And then divide both sides by the natural log of 2. So x is the natural log of 5 divided by the natural log of 2. And again, this is the exact answer and is equivalent to log base 3 of 5 over log base 3 of 2 or log base 2 of 5. OK? Now, by rights, I could have chosen any base to work with. So if I just chose base B, then this would have been, these would have been the steps. OK, so logging both sides, um, essentially I've got free reign over which logarithm base I use. It doesn't matter. In the case of 2 to the x equals 5, log base 2 works best in this case because it simplifies the logarithm and I don't have a fraction here. Because if b was 2, if I work this through with b is 2, I'm going to get log base 2 of 5 over log base 2 of 2. And log base 2 of 2 is just 1. So it simplifies the fraction for us. So log base 2 made sense in this example. But that's not to say that you can't choose another log base to solve this equation with.